Hello, my name is Carl Jones and I'm with the National Weather Service here in Grand Forks. I'm here to talk about the potential winter storm coming up on Wednesday and Thursday, January 10th and 11th, 2018. We are expecting a winter storm to impact the area, bringing some accumulating snowfall, some gusty winds, and the potential of seeing some wintry mix Wednesday into Thursday. This is due to a strong Arctic cold front coming into the area, sweeping through the region from west to east. Behind this cold front will be an Arctic air mass, bringing in frigid air lasting into the weekend. As of now, there is still large uncertainty regarding snowfall amounts and placement. We do have high confidence of seeing some gusty winds out of the north from around 25 to 35 miles per hour, and at times gusting higher, as well as seeing at least some accumulating snowfall throughout the region and the general timing of around Wednesday into Thursday. Aspects we have lower confidence in is the potential of seeing some freezing rain ahead of the cold front on Wednesday, the location of the heavier snowfall, which will have a direct impact on where areas will see blowing snow and how long these areas will see blowing snow, as well as the exact timing of this. Impacts include reduced visibilities by way of snowfall combined with wind, hazardous travel from slick roads and surfaces, from snowfall and wintry mix, and frigid wind chills as temperatures crash behind the cold front and the wind lingers. Currently we have a winter storm watch over the region from eastern North Dakota into northwestern Minnesota and west central Minnesota. This winter storm watch will be in effect from Wednesday afternoon into Thursday morning. Further to the west and central North Dakota there remains a winter weather advisory. We'll start off with the freezing rain potential. Freezing rain is possible ahead of the cold front with a slight chance of seeing some freezing rain early Wednesday with a better chance of seeing some freezing rain during the afternoon just before snow begins. This is our forecasted snowfall amounts. And again, we don't want you to get too caught up in the exact numbers that are shown right here, but this is to give just a general idea as to what we're thinking. From the Devil's Lake Basin in the Northern Red River Valley, generally around two to three inches, and down into the central Red River Valley into far northwestern Minnesota, around two to four inches, and then further south into the southern Red River Valley in west central Minnesota, three to four inches. And within this area, there's a possibility of seeing higher snowfall amounts than depicted here. Again, large uncertainty remains with snowfall amounts and exact placement. Timing the snowfall out, we are expecting the Devil's Lake Basin into the northern Red River Valley to see snow begin at around Wednesday noon and lasting into Wednesday night. Into the central Red River Valley and far northwestern Minnesota, we're expecting snow to begin Wednesday afternoon and lasting into early Thursday morning. And finally, within the southern Red River Valley and west central Minnesota, we're expecting snowfall to begin around Wednesday evening and lasting into Thursday morning. Areas more likely to see higher snowfall or greater than four inches of snow reside in the southern Red River Valley into west central Minnesota. Areas like Wapaton, Detroit Lakes, Bemidji, and into Fergus Falls, and perhaps even Fargo, could see significantly higher snowfall amounts. As the cold front moves west to east through the area, gusty winds out of the north of around 25 to 35 miles per hour are expected to move through the area. These winds will begin to move into our northern counties around midday on Wednesday, with winds peaking overnight into the evening throughout the region. And as you can see within this map, areas of seeing highest wind will be within the Red River Valley with sustained winds into the 30s gusting higher. Winds will be slow to diminish, lasting through the overnight and Thursday morning before diminishing from north to south around Thursday midday. These high winds combined with the new snowfall will create areas of blowing snow, significantly reducing visibility. With temperatures quickly crashing behind the cold front, frigid wind chills are expected as early as Thursday morning. Here's a snapshot of what we're thinking. Here is a snapshot of what we're thinking wind chills will be 9 a.m. Thursday. And as you can see, values are into the negative 30s throughout the region. So again, to recap, we're expecting a winter storm to bring accumulating snowfall, gusty winds, and perhaps some wintry mix Wednesday into Thursday. And this is due to a strong cold front moving through the area. Behind this cold front will be frigid temperatures. And at the moment, there's still large uncertainty with snowfall amount and placement.
but continue to check the forecast and begin your preparations now. I'm Carl Jones with the National Weather Service in Grand Forks, and thanks for watching.